Sunday comic book fans and welcome to another SundayComics.com video. Today it's another in my series about Bronze Age horror um, and today I'm going to be looking at a series called uh, Secrets of Haunted House. So Secrets of Haunted House was sort of mid to late Bronze Age uh, so it started in 1975, um, it started in 19, sorry, 1976, it started in 1976, um, shortly after uh, its predecessor, predecessor, um, Secrets of Sinister House finished. So Secrets of Sinister House uh, ran for about 18 issues, I think it finished in 75, then Secrets of Haunted House started. Um, and we start, and uh, the editor is Joe Orlando, the same guy who edited House of Mystery, so really good pedigree for horror anthology. And we start with a bang in issue one with a fantastic cover by the great Louis Dominguez. Not only that, but we get the uh, meme of two innocent children at risk of being found out by some horror or other. Yes, innocence and horror on the same cover. Classic Bronze Age horror meme. Great issue, Secrets of Haunted House, number one, covered by Louis Dominguez. So we're gonna get quite a few, uh, I'm not gonna tell you the cover artist on all these. Um, Louis Dominguez is uh, very prevalent. We've got Jim Apero, uh, also doing covers here. Mike Kaluta um, does some covers. Um, there are one or two Bernie Wrightsons, uh, which I haven't got. <laughs> so there are 45 issues of this. It runs from uh, no, 76 to 82. Has a little gap uh, in 1978 because it got cancelled during the great DC implosion where a whole load of titles got cancelled. One of the titles cancelled was Secrets of Haunted House, but <laughs> zombie-like, it came back to life a year later in 1979. So there was a gap of a year between issue 14 and issue 15. It then came back with issue 15 in 1970 nine and ran until 1982 issue 45 so there are 45 issues of this little beauty uh, mainly bronze age well all bronze age just about um starts off by with joe orlando editing then paul levitz takes over another very safe pair of hands um until issue 14 and when it comes back in issue 15 we get a change of editor and in my view it's never quite the same again so I'm not as keen on Secrets of Haunted House um, later on. I prefer the earlier issues, but anyway, I've collected the lots. We do get the introduction of a character called Mr. E in issue 31, but we'll come to that. So here we go, issue two. So you're going to see a lot of these uh, covers. Um, so I've got 35 of these. So stand by your beds. <laughs> uh, this one I really like. Uh, this, I think, is Ernie Chan. Uh, this is issue number three, uh, an Ernie, Ernie, Ernie Chan cover. I'm trying to get the glare off, it's got a mylar on it. Uh, issue number six is nice. Uh, this is Jim Apero, I think. This is Secrets of Haunted House number six. Um, and it says, murder at midnight, but which one is the victim indeed? The vampire is descending on the young girl, but the young girl does have a wooden stake. So who knows who is going to be murdered? Right, Secrets of Haunted House, number seven. Uh, double, uh, the deadly double of a demon. I think another Jim Apero. Uh, and again, Secrets of Haunted House, number nine. Another nice cover. The man who didn't believe in ghosts. A regularly recurring theme <laughs> in Bronze Age horror is people who don't believe in ghosts or any supernatural things. Um, number 12, Secrets of Haunted House, number 12. So we've got a bit of a gap there in my collection. Uh, Bernie Wrightson does do the cover on number five and I haven't got it, it's a pricey one. That is on my want list. Uh, Secrets of Haunted House, number 13. Uh, this is Joe Orlando and Dick Giordino doing this werewolf cover. 
very nice. Uh, right, then we get, I haven't got issue 14, then we get a year's gap uh, and we come back and like the first issue, was uh, the cover was by Louis Dominguez, we come back in issue 15 with a cracking cover uh, again by Louis Dominguez. Really nice uh, start or restart for Secrets of Haunted House. Get a great artist in to do it. Number 17. So here we are running through from 78 to 82. Secrets of Haunted House number 18, The Fiery Pit of Doom. Uh, Secrets of Haunted House. Uh, <laughs> that necklace is a beautiful glass eye. <laughs> I think somebody's come looking for their eye. Nice cover. Uh, Secrets of Haunted House. I love this cover as well. Uh, this fantastic uh, snake woman. Uh, come in darling, I can't wait to embrace you. Yes, I've got a feeling you're not going to be the one doing the uh, embracing. Um, another great one, um, Doctors of the Devil. Uh, my face, what have you done to my face? <laughs> um, when are the dead not dead? Number 23. Uh, Secrets of Haunted House, number 24. Um, and we also have Secrets of Haunted House, number 25. I like this cover. Um, they are all dead, now we'll survive. Uh, but clearly uh, the woman um, has got different ideas. Um, she appears to be some form of vampire creature. Uh, love this cover by Mike, uh, by, this is by Marshall. I was going to say Mike Kaluta, which did look like a bit of Kaluta like, but it doesn't say Kaluta on the cover. It says Marshall. Um, there you go. If you're not nice to me, my friend Nick will get to you. <laughs> Great cover. <laughs> Secrets of Haunted House, number 27. Uh, a chilling tale that will turn your blood as cold as Isis. Nice. Number 30. Be patient, my darling. Soon this man's living body will be yours. Mm. Right, number 31. First appearance of the character known as Mr. E. Now, he appears in the next 10 issues of uh, Secrets of Haunted House. Um, blind he may be, but evil he can see. Mr. E. It rhymes as well. First appearance of Mr. E. Secrets of Haunted House, number 31. Here we have him in number 32. And number 33. Yeah. It's quite a dirty copy, that one. Need to get, a, need to get an upgrade on that one. Secrets of the Haunted House, number 34. Come on, lady, confess you murdered your husband. No, I know you won't believe it, but a monster killed him. Oh, what's that coming out of the cupboard? Not sure what Mr. E is doing there. Uh, another Mr. E, number 35, Secrets of Haunted House, number 35. And these, these ones, Secrets of Haunted House, the first 10 or so in high grade are gonna cost you a bit of money. These later ones with Mr. E, don't pay more than about five for a mid-grade copy. Secrets of Haunted House, number 36. Secrets of Haunted House, number 37. And this is why I like this Bronze Age horror stuff. You can put a collection of these together uh, in reasonable grade. These are all in mid, mid to high grade at not a huge cost. Um, Secrets of Haunted House, number 38. So, if, you know, if you're starting out as a comic collector, um, these are the type of series that you can put together slowly over a period of time at not a huge amount of cost. You know, you can probably pick the ones, odd ones up on eBay. Uh, I picked up three recently, about five or six pounds each in decent grade. Uh, you don't have to pay, you know, which is the price of a new comic. If you go and buy a new comic these days, it'll cost you five quid. Whereas you can probably also get a nice Bronze Age, look at this one, uh, so this is Secrets of Haunted House number 40 in a great um, sort of child, uh, evil child cover. Um, Secrets of Haunted House number 41 and we've got Joe Cubert. 
taking over cover art duties now. Very nice. Uh, number 43, Dig the Plant Man, and we have got Joe Orlando laying down his editorial duties and doing a bit of artwork. I really quite like this Joe Orlando cover, The Plant Man. Number 45, we're approaching the end of the run of uh, Secrets of Haunted House, <laughs> to remind myself what it was called. And here we go, the last issue of uh, Secrets of Haunted Houses, issue number 46, uh, Dennis Cowan and Dick Giordino um, doing the cover here, and it says, Boogie Man, I'll get ya. <laughs> and there we go. That is the end, 1982. We've reached the end of the Bronze Age. We've reached the end of Secrets of Haunted House, and most of the Bronze Age horror now dies off. Um, <laughs> At the, in the sort of mid 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 eighties, even the long running ones, the House of Secrets, the House of Mystery, um, all sort of end in the early eighties. So there you go. Uh, that is my Bronze Age horror uh, for today. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Secrets of Haunted House, seventy six to eighty two, a total of forty six issues, with a little break between issue fourteen and fifteen of a year. Um, so it is a sort of zombie comic because it came back from the great uh, DC implosion. Um, there you go. Uh, it's not my favourite series, but it's not bad. It's not bad and it's collectible and it's affordable. Uh, so that is your lot for today. See you again soon.